So today I want to talk about why I failed to master Chinese back then by doing not doing much in I don't think I did anything much that's why I think I failed so I got my English ability by moving to the US staying there for a long time and I just you know got this English ability by the way I was able to speak much much better back then anyway so after a while I feel like okay I can speak Japanese, I can speak English now, and then why don't I, you know, make myself trained to be able to speak Chinese because that would be cool. It's like, oh, fluent trilingual in Japanese, English, and in Chinese. And I really like the idea, so I picked Taiwan and then moved there so that I can just make the same thing happen for me in terms of learning Chinese in a way that I did for English. But that plan failed because I think it's because I got so lazy and then also I got stuck up. So first of all, Taiwanese people can speak English. And because I got so lazy on learning Chinese and at the same time I think I got I enjoyed the attention from Taiwanese people that Oh, yes, so you are Japanese, you speak Japanese at the same time, you know, you don't sound like Japanese, and you, you speak English, and then, oh, you lived in the US. What, what's the experience like that? Tell us about it. And they really treated me so well. And I think I really enjoyed the attention to the point that, okay, if I speak English, I get so many attentions. And then if I speak Japanese, I also get attention. Then why don't I have to, you know, learn Chinese? Especially like I can understand the Chinese characters and then I can understand what it means. I can guess most of the time. But when it comes to pronunciations, it's just so hard. And after a while, you know, I just simply didn't study anymore and then decided to move back to Japan. So one lesson is that yeah moving to a place where you only speak that language it's gonna help you or that really helped me at the initial point when it comes to English but when it comes to from like the third language or fourth language I think we really have to at least I really have to be strict with myself that don't use Japanese or English to try to get by a day in the place or in a country you are here to learn let's say Spanish or Japanese or Chinese or whatever only use that think that in language only that language so otherwise even though a lot of people including myself recommend people to move to a place or country where you know they only speak let's say uh, Spanish Italian French or English Chinese Korean but if you ever don't use that language or try to learn every day and use it every day, then you're not going to be able to master it. So, um, that's my experience. And the other thing is that don't be stuck up, I think. And don't enjoy the attention too much. So, uh, that's just my experience. Jane.